Hey Storm fans, Jason Tirada here at Jack Britt Memorial Stadium. We're on this very field on September the 5th. The Lake Erie College football team will open the 2013 season against the Gannon Golden Knights in the battle for the Ships Wheel Trophy. But even sooner than that, the Storm football team will report to campus August 14th and start their drills the next day. A lot of you are familiar with some of the names coming back from last year, guys like Tanner Wells, Marcus Rogers, and Anthony Bilal, and Brendan Gallagher. But we're joined today by assistant head coach and offensive coordinator Jerry Hazard, defensive coordinator Tom Anthony. We're going to talk about some of the fresh faces coming to campus here in a couple of weeks and what we can expect from the Storm newcomers. Coach Hazard, let's talk to you. Who are some of the guys coming in on offense we can look to make an immediate impact? Well, I think we did a real good job uh, solidifying some of the skill positions um, for the guys that are coming in. Uh, we have a handful of receivers that we think can help us right away. We have a transfer from Indiana by the name of Jamon Chester. He's going to be one of the outside guys playing receiver. Uh, we have another guy named Anthony Oliver, who's an older guy um, from the area, from Cleveland JFK, that can come in and help us at the tight end spot. We have a big guy by the name of Drew Bell. He's about 6'5", played some receiver in high school. We'll use him more as a tight end, but he does have the ability to be in the slot, be a receiver, you know, play the traditional tight end spot. Um, at that position, we also have another guy by the name of Tavon Charles, who's from Maryland, who we really, really like, a very athletic kid that is probably more of a traditional tight end, but does have the ability to beat linebackers, beat safeties, and be that threat that we want at that position. When you were out looking at uh, possible recruits and guys to come into the system, were there certain specific characteristics that you guys look for? Or is it, you know, hey, let's get the best athletes in the best spots? Or are there voids to fill? Yeah, we're, we're always looking to fill our voids. We felt, you know, for receiver-wise, we had some holes to fill. We wanted some to bring in some more talent into that position. You know, tailback-wise, it was a position where we had two freshmen that did a great job for us uh, last year. So we didn't hit that position as hard. But you're always looking for the best possible guys. You know, we're looking for guys that obviously have speed, that can make plays, you know, something that's not as big for us is how big someone is. You know, you talked about Anthony Ballon in the beginning. He's not a very tall person, but he makes a lot of plays, and that's really what we're looking for when we're recruiting guys on our side. Now, Coach Anthony, our second year in your defensive system, the guys had to learn a new system last year, but, you know, those guys all are familiar with it, and now the new guys, they can be good teachers for that. So, uh, you know, some of those new guys, who are names that we can look for on the defensive side of the ball for the Storm? I think the biggest thing is for us, we want to go out and find some guys that had a little bit of experience. Uh, we are able to get a few transfers, uh, junior college defensive end uh, out of California, Aaron Rojas, uh, probably move him down inside, three technique. Uh, brings a different element, great speed, great quickness, and he's a little older kid, more developed, which will help us out. Uh, got another interior D lineman out of the Columbus area, Terry Cole. Uh, again, just a great, great, um, great motor, great playmaker is going to help us out. Uh, we were able to go out and get two pretty good linebackers. Uh, Christian Cole out of McDonough High School in Maryland. That uh, was going to do a great job for us. And then uh, we got an outside linebacker uh, out of Cincinnati Moeller, uh, Nick Sabatos, uh, Division I state champs. Uh, had a great season for them, so he's another guy that's going to come in and uh, probably help us out right away. Uh, Secondary-wise, we were able to get a transfer. A uh, kid uh, that I recruited two years ago out of Huber Heights, Wayne Marquan Richardson, uh, was down in Kentucky at an NAI school. He's transferring up to us. Uh, so he's a guy that will probably have a chance to come in and help us out right away too. Now, Coach Hazard talked about, you know, filling the voids and, you know, looking for guys that are the best athlete at a certain position. But, you know, defensively, you know, with the system that's now in place, is there a common thread amongst the defensive players that you look for when recruiting them? I, I think for as a defensive coach, no matter what system you're in, you want to find a guy that, that can run and is going to make plays. Uh, like Coach Hazard said, I think sometimes you're going to sacrifice some size uh, in order to get that kid who's got, got the playmaking ability and, and, and speed. And I think uh, those five guys I just talked about are all guys that fit that mold. All right, Tom Anthony, Jerry Hazard, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. We'll catch up with you guys once camp starts and begins. All right, thank you. Thank you. And for you guys, follow us all season long, LakeEarieStorm.com. And don't forget, season opener, September the 5th, right here at Jack Britt Stadium against Gannon. Until then, go Storm and rage on.